stupidest shit ever. How is it funny? Yeah, I don't know. This guy sounds like a loser, not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a loser. <laughs> yes. He said, yeah, it's not much creative. Not creative. I have ants on my body. Not much creative? What does it even yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> this is not much Brother, creative. Brother, I have ants on my body. That's as creative as it gets. I'm covered in them. I'm covered in them. Head to toe. I got feet. ants crawling all over my body. <laughs> what song is that? <laughs> Sweat drip. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, alien Ant Farm? Dude, that was middle school dance music when I was a kid. <laughs> Some pedophile trying to get us horny and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you ever think about that? Like middle school fucking DJs? <laughs> like your high school dance. Right. They were trying to get you to fuck. Everybody's hard on the Damn. dance. Yeah, never their job. yeah, and you're looking at some guy with fucking manicured eyebrows playing hits. Yeah, it would be like, like they get talked to if they don't do a good job. Like yeah. Those seventh graders were not. Like I haven't seen one <laughs> chub kid. <laughs> I'm trying to have some abortions as adults in this fucking dance. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, yeah, fucking episode four. Welcome back to Digital Bazooka. Rolling? This thing's going. Oh, boom! This is how we. This is how we started off. Uh, uh, James Moss, Drew of Montana, and we got a humdinger today. The 6-5 DUI. Give it up for Ryan Foster. I'm not... Uh, I wasn't found guilty yet, so that case... <laughs> 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 That's still up in the air, honestly. That could turn out Danish for your boy. <laughs> we can see. All right, cool. Cut that one. Uh, uh, fucking... Uh, no, let it rip. <laughs> how you doing, man? I'm living, brother. I was worried. I'm living, were, laughing, loving. The fucking... Uh, the studios... It, we're cramped in here. Yeah. I know, I know the, the Grand Canyon's behind us. It's <laughs> just like an autistic studio. <laughs> how many fucking screens in here? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. guys have a Peloton, too. I like that. You're the first person to bring it up. <laughs> I like how you guys pretend like you're biking outdoors. There's like <laughs> potting soil all over the mat. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan got excited when he saw the Peloton. He's like, oh, that's a Peloton? I was like, yeah, I think he's selling it. You want it? He's like, no, I ain't gay. <laughs> <laughs> Too straight to pedal, dude. I walk. <laughs> It sucks. And also, that's not soil. The cats get in here, and they scratch up the mat. So oh, just, shit. It just, looks just, like potting soil. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, I have my bullshit. glasses on, but I'm still blind. I'm like, fucking potting soil. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was looking for a plant. I was like, I thought it was, I don't know. They've yeah. obliterated that thing. They'll come, they'll, like, try and, like, frick with it while I'm, like, pedaling. Frick with and it? You just, you just kick them. You just give the cat a little give fucking the cat, I will kick the shit out of a cat. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> My brother made me babysit a cat one time, and I threw it. <laughs> it woke me up in the middle of the... I was trying to be a nice person in my family group chat, and he was going out of town. I was like, I'll watch that cat. And I got home drunk and fell asleep, and it was, like, biting me, and I grabbed it. Like, I forgot I had the cat. <laughs> I just woke, thought it was I a woke ghost. up, grabbed it, and threw it <laughs> Fucking cat ghost. It's a monster under my bed. That's <laughs> one of my ex-girlfriends biting me. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah. That's cool, man. I like how, how easily cats can survive things. That's their main thing. Yeah. Cats are on demon time all the time. Yeah. You can let a cat go in the woods. You can't do that with a dog. People get mad. Like, seeing a cat get hit by a car is kind of hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my like God. They usually survive. Dude, yeah. Funny story. We were just talking about my grandma before this. She she got drunk and left my aunt's barbecue one time and ran over my cousin's cat. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's lived? trying to get... Dude, this cat... No, that took it out. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, four hours before that, we were playing... Uh, what's what's the uh, what's that game? Is it bocce? Can cat you toss. play with the wood? <laughs> <laughs> the wood hammer and you, you just hit them you hit those cat <laughs> corpse off the street we were playing fuck the cat in my aunt's <laughs> backyard they're hard to catch oh cat's get ball <laughs> dunk them no is it it's bocce right where you hit no bo what's the one croquet Croquet. Okay. You know, remember when you would get like those barbecue game sets and it would be like bago and then they just throw in some bullshit some hammers and a heavy yeah. ball. <laughs> Literally <laughs> and pump we, your uncle with it. <laughs> and we called my cousin Maria out and me and my cousin Billy hit I hit and missed and my cousin Billy hit and drilled this cat right in the fucking <laughs> mug. And then like two hours later it went to sleep under my grandma's car and my grandma ran it over leaving. He had a concussion. It's a dude. series of L's yeah. for that cat. That cat had C T E, dude. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> my grandma's just drunk trying to convince Maria. She's like, "It wasn't me. The cat must have like you're the only person that left. The cat's dead in the driveway with like clear squish marks on it. Yeah, thing looks like a banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> Tough. Yeah, man. That's I like you guys have tail. You got one tailgating chair. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's, you get, yeah, you it's get the tailgate. Together. This is swag. This I is like mid-century modern. This one's art deco. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. I dig it. We got a redesign coming soon. I thought you said you got Rita's coming soon. I was like, I fucking hate <laughs> Rita's, dude. I hate Rita's. Yeah. I'm a soft serve man. Yeah. You, got, you like, uh, what's that called? Water ice? I, yeah, water I had ice. it for the first time recently. I was shit talking. I was like, Italians are stupid. They should kill themselves. And then Italians I had... are responsible for 9 11. <laughs> <Yeah, for laughs> you know that. Well, I had the the custard shit. That it was like chocolate and like, <sighs> oh my God. The, the, I'm not a water delicious. ice guy. I like a soft serve, though. Yeah, I'm a soft serve man all day. Yeah. Yeah. Soft chocolate me. 
soft chocolate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, hell. Well, uh, shit, let's go to the phones real quick. Let's check this out. Oh, let's man. do it. All right. Hey, how you doing? My name's Clayton Beverly. Um, I just moved to the area. I didn't know. Are you guys accepting new patients? Yes, we do. What insurance do you have? Um, that, that's the issue. I, uh, I just broke up with my girlfriend. She was a dentist, and she took out two of my wisdom teeth, and I was wondering, would you guys just do one side? Is that possible? I can pay cash. Okay. So you want to get the extraction done? Yeah, just for two. Okay. I see. Um... It's important. I thought my mouth was going to, like, make extra room for these. You know what I mean? I tried to, like, mind over matter it, and I'm chewing the shit out of my cheek. It's killing me. Uh, okay. So first, Dr. Manali has to um, evaluate. Then he can tell you that he can do that. I have pictures. Um, you can I can FaceTime him right now, honestly. It's killing me. This is like an emergency. I know. Um, I haven't been able to eat. Like, I haven't had Arby's in um, four or five days. Yeah. Today? What time today? Because we are closing at 12 if you can come. Uh, I'm doing a transmission on my quad right now. Mm. That's what the thing is. Do you have anything available tomorrow? Tomorrow we are closed. I can do money. You're now. closed? Does you do anything on the side? Like, I can trade. Do you guys need, like, I'm an electrician during the day plus quad stuff. Mm -hmm. So, if you guys need, like, a chandelier in the lobby, I can hook you up with that. Okay. Yeah, um. Is there any way you can come Monday morning then? What time mo Monday? Monday I can schedule at 11.30. That's perfect. i got to put my dog down at like 8.45, so I should be all settled, ready to okay. go by then. What's your last name? What's my last name? Yes. My last name? I'm sorry, you broke up. Yeah, I need your Williams. Name. Williams. Williams. Yeah. All right, and what's the first name? Clayton. Like clay, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm actually making, like, a clay replica of my dog I'm putting down. It's brutal. That's why I don't have time to come today. I got a pottery mm -hmm. appointment. No problem. That's fine. Um, yeah. Your telephone number? My telephone number? Mm-hmm. 215-835-6853. Are you sure you guys don't need any kind of extra lighting? Because, like, money's tight. I just moved up from Kansas. Um, I need to ask doctor. Can I put you on hold for a second, really, please? Yep. Thank you. I thought you were done with her. Oh, she put me on hold. Oh, shit, really? <laughs> oh, oh, God, I thought, oh, I fucked. <laughs> I, I thought she heard Kansas, and she was like, I'm done with you, kid. She might have. Damn, that sucks. Dude, that thing took seven left turns. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I got a pottery appointment. I'm putting the dog down. <laughs> Fucking working on my transmission on my quad. <laughs> You're like, like, I'm chewing the shit out of my cheeks. Like, this guy does everything, man. Oh, you need the uh, the thing back now. I couldn't believe she stuck with that. That Damn. was nuts. <laughs> Damn, we should have stayed. I wish I could have got her to go for like an hour, and you guys are like, all right, we got to go. <laughs> she was like, look at her, like, do we need a chandelier? Like, could we? <laughs> like, Does I anybody's aunt need a hi-hat in her bathroom? <laughs> Anything. What an idiot. <laughs> awesome. I could do that all day. I'm making a clay replica of the dog <laughs> I'm putting down. What uh, a moron. <laughs> <laughs> we got a natural, dude. Holy shit. That was awesome. I was wondering how you would sound on the phone. Like, I, I, like in I my, also realized I said out my name was, what did I say? You I think it. I changed it. Yeah. Yeah. I was Clayton like, Beverly and then Clayton. William. Clayton yeah, Williams. Was, did you hear me? I was like, what did you say? Because I was trying to remember what name I said. I was like, Clayton. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that ruled. That was cool. I was Damn, I feel like I'm 14 again. I know. <laughs> that's the dream. I was worried. The show is nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. I, I, in my head, I thought like, damn, I was like, Foster's gonna be too mean. Like you, like you, like no, call someone totally to be like, like, oh shit, you sound fat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, did you, you know what I said? My girlfriend <laughs> broke up with me, and she did half. <laughs> Can I trade you? For, she was like, let me talk to the doctor. I was like, you gotta ask him yeah. if he's willing to trade. That's it is crazy. Like just the idea of that's the funniest thing. Just calling a dentist office, being like, listen, I got a fucking dirt bike. It's not running right now, but if you could get it running, I got a lot of shit tube, going on. Yeah. <laughs> You know what it's like hitting the fucking, what are they called? The the rhythm section of like a dirt bike track with your wisdom teeth pounding, sister? Help me. The rumble strips. Yeah, the rumble strips. Oh, my God. What a moron. What are we doing now? Dude, uh, I could do this all day. I could do this for like nine hours <laughs> by myself. I'm going to start prank calling at home. Yeah. 
you're you're like repressed. Like you try to be cool, but you are a scoundrel. <laughs> oh, I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fully retarded. I got an autistic sister, so I'm at least an eighth retarded. She, she's coming on next week. She'll be Dude, good. Dude, you want her on here? She'll spaz. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> oh my god. She's like, can we call Legos again? Like, we call Legos. She every actually time. hates Legos. My sister, my I have an autistic sister who writes hate mail to Disney and like Pixar, and she's like, yo, Kung Fu Panda sucks. That. <laughs> they sent her she a would care. Be perfect. Dude, they sent her a care package with like <laughs> fucking hoodies. Like they're just like, please stop. Like nobody, this movie's nine years old. My uh, she asked my girlfriend to get her um. All dogs go to heaven. Remember that movie? Yeah, yeah. She asked her for that. And she, my girlfriend bought her girl. All dogs go to heaven one and two like a package deal. Yeah. And my sister opened it up and she's like, "What the fuck? I asked for one." <laughs> <laughs> she, she made her take it back and get her a new one. <laughs> so funny, dude. That so kills cool. me. <laughs> oh, the second one sucked, dude. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Do- Everybody knows that shit's dog shit. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best show ever. That was a good time. It's hard to remember what name you make up in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to say a name. <laughs> no, I had to. <laughs> I love, that's my favorite part. No, that's sometimes the funniest part. When you see somebody just get, like, a fake name off quick, you're like, oh, he's in it. Yeah, he's, he's, nice. he's in the zone now. Yeah, I'm he method. Said he was, he said he was Clayton Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> Clayton Beverly? That's such a tight name. That's a plantation owner's name, dude. Clayton Beverly. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, let's check it out. Let's hit the phones again. Let's go back to it. How you doing, man? You all right? Having a good day? Yeah, pretty good. Cool. My name is uh, Wilson Davis. I bought a uh, I bought I actually bought a tuxedo from a di- hello. Hello. Oh no, it's my my uh, phone just made a crazy noise. I thought I lost you. I've been trying to get yeah, money no. on the phone all day. I need alterations on a tuxedo. Do you guys do that kind of stuff? Did you purchase it from the men's warehouse or from? Like, um, no, I bought this off Amazon. So, it was a custom get- order. It was a custom order, and they gave me, like, I gave them my bicep measurements, and they just didn't give me enough room, you know what I mean? If I flex at this wedding, it's going to be finished. Well, you really shouldn't be flexing in your tuxedo jacket anyway, sir. Really? Even no. when you dance? You shouldn't be dancing in it either. In a tuxedo? At a wedding? Yes, in a tuxedo jacket. You want to take off your jacket before you start breaking it down. No, I'll say less, brother. I'll get the sleeves removed. Do you guys do that on the dress shirt? Uh, do the remove the sleeves? Yeah, I'll take the sleeves off. You can give me like cufflinks. You know what I mean? Can you keep like the wrist part? What's that called? Where you put like my cufflinks on at the bottom so it looks like I'm ready for business. But then once mm-hmm. the beat drops, <laughs> sleeveless. Because I got 22 inches on me, son. Yeah. Not only would you need to get the items dry cleaned before they came into our store, but if you go to another tailor. I would recommend going to another tailor with uh, the amount of alterations. The amount of alterations. All right, cool, because yeah. I wanted, like, kangaroo pouch in the front, too, in case I get yeah. jumped up. Electric slide hits, and I lose it, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. No, no, it's I an Indian it. wedding, so I'm like, let's go. Mm-hmm. Dry, organic dry cleaner. Organic. I like that, too. I'm very I'm environmentally conscious. No homo. What's the name? <laughs> Helen's Organic Dry Helen's Cleaner. Helen's Organic. Do they got food and stuff? Because I would, I'm dying for like a quinoa bowl or something. I don't think so. No. I think, I think the the. I'm the, a parfait guy. You know that. I've been trying to find a good Danish since I moved up here. Honestly, it's hurt. killing me. Because I live in Rittenhouse Square. My mom died, so I got like, which sucks. But I didn't like. You know what I mean? She's abusive. But I got like two million out of that deal. So I'm like. That's you say. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I am set. We could go out for drinks after you after you're done your shift. Do you have any like a uh, like a pastry shop you could recommend? I'm in Rittenhouse. I got a coffee place, La Colombe. That place banging, La but Colombe, the Danishes are so par. Yeah. yeah, like something tasty, like maybe with some fruit. I want something to burst when I bite. You know what I mean? Be when I be, baby. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, man. Unfortunately, it's all good. I can Google, I guess. But yeah, Helen's. Might have some pretty good things there. Is, are the alterations done by Helen? Because I like my suits work on by a man, you know what I mean? Not to Possibly. be toxic, but yeah. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've been helpful enough, dude. I really appreciate it. What was your name again? No problem. My name is Nate. All right, man. Nasty Nate, my boy. All right, brother. I'll talk to you. All right. Talk to you. Have a good one. See you, bye. You as well. <laughs> <laughs> They're going for it, dude. We're on a heater now. We're all on it. 
right? That guy ruled. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a quinoa bowl. No homo. <laughs> Wait, do they have food there at the tailor? <laughs> he said organic, so I was like, gay. But <laughs> How do they have organic dry? Uh, I guess just no, like, bad detergents. <laughs> You can, you can dump more detergent like right in the river. That's what I should have said. I think you dropped three no homos. In there. <laughs> <laughs> I just broke the meter. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm environmentally conscious. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what did he say? He was like, well, you don't want to be dancing in a tux. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's an Indian wedding. <laughs> <laughs> the electric slide at an Indian wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, God. Damn, we were striking out with the, nobody picking up. Now we got Nasty dude, Nate. We're, men's we're cooking, dude. Yeah. Nate. It only takes one. Nate's a Hall of Famer for sure. Be yeah. when I be, I'll be right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Uh, what, did I have? what was the B on the B? I don't even remember what it was. Oh, I need something to burst when I bite. <laughs> yeah, burst when I bite. <laughs> Can you put Starburst in the Danish? <laughs> That's what I should ask. They're subpar. <laughs> Dude, I want to go visit that guy after yeah, the show. Yeah, let's go get suits. <laughs> yeah. Is Nate here? Just get three green digital bazooka suits. <laughs> I'll do this shit every week. Damn. How much is a custom tux, you think, if I had to like make it up with the logo? <laughs> I said I got it off of Amazon. He's like, well... <laughs> I was like, well, you work a men's warehouse. So yeah. Get off my fucking back. <laughs> Men's warehouse is actually sick. My Uncle Bob gets suits there, and they look pretty Danish. If I say so myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's your thing now. Yeah. Like, like, I was trying, to get, pretty I was trying to get that. I'd force it. I lose it, like, every couple months, and then I get high enough. I'm like, that's Danish, baby. <laughs> I'll say it, like, when we're leaving, like, bars and shit. People are like, what? <laughs> like, All right, you girls stay Danish, okay? <laughs> you stay Danish, baby, no homo. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Men's warehouse rules. I think yeah. I've only I've only been once, but uh, it was a good time. Oh my god! Yeah, I'll dude. go drink. We should get drunk and just go in there and horse <laughs> around with Nate. Nasty. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm well, a, that guy. That's probably the most fun you have at Men's Warehouse. You're just getting screamed at by guys who are going to a wedding they yeah, don't want to go true. to. Yeah, Yeah, that's the, that's the cool part about like this show is like calling people who don't give it. Like it's yeah. not the yeah. manager. <laughs> you called Applebee's and that guy's like, yes. Yeah, that guy was so hot. <laughs> like, getting screamed at by a Puerto Rican and Puerto Rican. <laughs> that's what most of the comments were. They're like, this guy just came back from his smoke break and oh, he's loving dude. it. Yeah. He just came fresh out of the walk-in yeah. cooler. Got sucked off by a hostess. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, ants. Yo, we got ants. It's crazy, yo. Like, Brother, you think you got ants on you? You're coming to our fucking kitchen. <laughs> oh, fuck. The best. You gotta list off the hits. Get them enticed. I honestly don't even know any little bow wow songs. I gotta look. You ain't up. riding like I'm riding. You ain't fresh as a that ain't little bow wow though, <laughs> is it? You should start up the call playing the song. <laughs> Hold on. What? With hits like "Let like, Me Hold You," "Shorty Like Mine," and Ooh, "Shorty, Shorty Like, like Mine," mine remix. <laughs> when was the last time she texted me? Probably my birthday. Yeah, I'd go on a boat with him. <laughs> What's going on? Mm. Like you featuring Sierra. Sierra, that's a good time. Remember my goodies? Damn, I want to call Sierra. That song made me want to play the flute. <laughs> Skin flute, baby. <laughs> well, you could probably do that on a flute. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know. I gotta find. I don't know where it is. Damn. You weren't in band or anything, were you? I played the trumpet, yeah. Did oh, you, yeah. You played right. the trumpet? Yeah, in like fifth, sixth grade. Just call and see if you can get your adult, your child trumpet upgraded. Be like, you put extensions on this? <laughs> <laughs> Make it big enough for an adult? Be like, dude, my lungs are too powerful for this. Look at that. Blew a hole in the side of my trumpet. <laughs> Shout out Thomas Edison. Just, they don't have a saxophone guy. I wouldn't even ask. I would just start asking the guy questions. Right, right. Yeah, just go right with it. Yeah. Can you weld a harmonica onto my tube? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to put an extension on this bitch. I can play the. Tell him you can play the harmonica with your nostrils. <laughs> I'm a one man band. Be like, can I? Brother, <laughs> like, I have a bass drum strapped I need to my like chest a, right a now. Neck, I need help. <laughs> a neck brace that can hold the saxophone and then weld a harmonica on the top. What the fuck? I play weddings. <laughs> I don't want to hire other bandmates because I'm too busy. Actually, could you give me two more arms? <laughs> <laughs> I already got a spoon guy. 
<laughs> I'm okay. Um, I'm trying to set up a thing here. I got a saxophone and a bass drum. Um, I want to become one of those one-man band things. Mm -hmm. um, but I need like a like an expert on all the subjects to really get in tune with my inner, uh, you know. Your inner walking carnival? Correct, correct. That's the word okay. I was searching for. Um, so if you want sax help, I could definitely get you some sax help right now. And then when you're done with him, I can possibly try to get you some drum help. Is that okay? Yeah, uh, maybe a harmonica guy, too. I've been playing that with the nostrils lately. Um, wow, that's that's impressive. All right, yeah, so the sax guy and the harmonica guy are the same guy. So uh, okay. let, me, let me start with him. He's not doing anything right now. And then after that, if you need drum questions, he can transfer you to a drum guy. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. We know you're holding, and someone will be with you shortly. Thank you for holding. This is Van and Sheet Music. Hey, uh, what was your name again? I'm sorry. Van, like Van Morrison. Hey, Van, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um. <laughs> no, I can't. What the fuck? He said Van Morrison and you fold. <laughs> you ain't built for this gonna, shit. Give me one. I was going to say my name's Truck. <laughs> My <laughs> name's Tread Lightly. This is, this is John Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Truck. Uh, keep on. Keep on trucking, brother. Uh, I thought about it and then I lost the it. Truck. <laughs> he got with the saxophone guy. I know. Oh, fuck. my God. <laughs> Dude, I don't... <laughs> All right, wait. Give me one. Hey, Max. My name's Truck Thompson. Uh, I have a quick question for you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to get... This might be strange, but my... So I, have a... I had a DUI a couple months ago. Sorry to disclose that with you, but I'm That's trying good. to whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to get my breathalyzer in tune, and I actually have something pretty cool where it's a saxophone mouthpiece. Okay. Um, and it's like it's it's exactly what you picture. Um, and if I hit an A sharp, then the truck turns on. Insane. <laughs> Insane, right? But it's out of tune right now, and I don't know how to. Is that something you guys could do if I like bring the truck into the store? How would you bring the truck into the store? Yeah, I didn't think about that. How big are your doors? Uh, not big enough to fit a truck through. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Um. Well, I mean, is there like, could you maybe take a look at it sometime? It's like it's, it's a standard saxophone. I mean, I'll, I'll let me get you over the tech if the tech is here, and they might be able to help out. But uh, that's very interesting. One second. Okay. Thank you. So our tech is not in until Monday. Do you want to call back on Monday? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I could do that. I mean, do you guys have, like, a loading dock? Uh, yeah, we have a loading dock in the back, yeah. Yeah, I think we could just fit it right in there, then. Yeah, we could try. If yeah. you want to, yeah, call back on Monday and, uh, Ford Ranger. talk to the tech, and then they'll be able to walk you through it and tell you if it's feasible. Yeah, also, one more quick question. Do you got, is there a guy in there that does, like, the, the one-man band stuff, or an expert on that? No. Okay. I want to get, like, a... I'm trying to become a Swiss Army knife of instruments. Sure. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I I love I love the shit so much, I'm going to get the bass drum welded to my chest rather than strap it on. Sure. To, you know what I mean? Like, I'll sleep with the thing. Gotcha. On, my, on my stomach. Well, we sell that. Bass drums or welding tools? Uh, bass drums. Welding tools you have to get at, uh, I don't know, a little hardware shop. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then like a saxophone that shoots fire or something. Um, yeah, we don't have that. I, That's you'd have to make. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I can customize things myself. I've done the mouthpiece already. But all right, all right. Well, you've been very helpful today. No problem, man. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We got a live one. <laughs> so I was like, ask if there's a loading dock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you should have said I got a fully loaded F-250. <laughs> I did mushrooms at the last Eagles game on New Year's Day. <laughs> and we lost, so I just kept telling people I was a Ford salesman. <laughs> I was like, how could I, could I interest you with this loss? But I, I got a fully loaded, leather seat heated F-250. <laughs> I was giving people my cousin's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> My 60 year old dad's on mushrooms Like what the fuck are you guys talking about <laughs> Oh Hell my yeah. god Who else uh, we got How many do you do Dude, We do them all day Let's go back to the phones Fuck it There's nothing to talk about there We're back to the phones <laughs> Kelsey how can I brighten your day Hey how are you doing Good how are you 
I'm doing okay. Um, I, I I have an issue. I'm hoping you can help me with. Uh, I uh, I accidentally stuck my finger in a uh, in a socket in my house, and I got I got a pretty nasty zap. Um, that was the other day, and uh, now it's it's the weirdest thing. I can talk to dogs now. Do you know anything about that? Like, have you ever seen that before? Okay, repeat that one more time. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I got a nasty zap from a socket. I uh, and uh, now, like my dog, he won't stop talking to me. It's the weird, like I can understand what dogs are saying. Um, like on the street, I can talk to dogs. There was one I couldn't understand, but I think he was speaking Espanol. You feel me? So I could definitely help you with the uh, with the outlet you're having issues with, but I can't help you with the dogs talking to you. I don't know much about that. I just thought, you know, maybe it's something you had seen before. Um, and I, I guess, like, my house is having electrical problems. Um, apparently, my, my microwave is making, like, a high-pitched, like, noise. I can't hear it, but my dog told me that. Okay, what's your first and last name? Hello? I'm sorry, I was talking to my dog. What, uh, what was your question? What's your first and last name? Yeah, first name Patrick, last name Rancheros. The guy won't pipe down. It's the darndest thing. Um, okay. I don't. What's What's the address? Yeah, so I was like, I thought I saw a lightning bug, and that's why my finger got stuck. But it was just a spark. And now my dog, he's singing nursery rhymes and the Jeopardy theme song to me. He's a German Shepherd. Okay, and what's the service address that you're needing your needing assistance with? But you see the dog. They're biting at my heels. <laughs> they're they're barking. <laughs> it's a German Shepherd. <laughs> The nicest customer service person you well, will dude. ever talk to is about to be on the phone. <laughs> Buckle up, Buster. She's like, yeah, fucking Cindy. She sounded like she was at happy hour. <laughs> like, There's so much noise. So how, how can I brighten your day? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, that was cute. a nice touch. I'm going to steal that. They get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to steal that. Yeah. <laughs> how can we make your dog stop talking to you today? <laughs> She's like, I can help you with the outlet. No with idea the about dog. the dog. <laughs> I was like, could you have an SPCA number? <laughs> I need somebody to come kill this dog. <laughs> It's talking about the Jews. Fucking this is great. <laughs> My dog loves Hitler. What the fuck is happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to stick a paw in it. Won't stop listening to Kanye West. <laughs> Dude, it'd be crazy if you could talk to dogs and that's all they said. <laughs> like, like, like scientists were like, we have groundbreaking technology. We're going to speak to the first Labradoodle. And he gets on the mic and he's like, Hitler was right. <laughs> Hitler was never wrong. <laughs> You're like, all right, we're end of this experiment. Yeah, yeah. Chill, chill. We're not talking chill, to chill. animals anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we just killed all dogs yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, oh my god they were gonna pretend he didn't say it it's like do you want food tonight and like be cool <laughs> i'll pet you but we're gonna chill on that dog how does it feel to be the first dog to speak n words like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> bad boy n words hit him with a newspaper <laughs> start spraying him with the <laughs> what am i homeless you're like no chill <laughs> fuck <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Calls may be recorded or monitored. Recording on my Thank you Making sure you're running everything above board. <laughs> no. <laughs> you think you're retarded? I'm. Retarded. <laughs> Sorry. You can say things like, "I'm here for curbside." Thank you, low. Hey, how you doing, man? It's Timmy Beverage. My parents are having a deck built, and they poured concrete. And me and my brother Daryl put our feet in there, and now it hardened around it. So I need something. Oh, wow. I tried to I tried to cut it out. We got a wet saw, and my brother Daryl complained it's getting too hot because of the blade. So if you got something I could bash the concrete with, like a Bosch hammer drill, maybe you got you guys don't do tool drop off, right? Uh, we can you could order an AZ and we can pull it and then uh. I could get like one of my buddies to pick it up. I got like three bikes yeah. here. Do you got a loading uh, dock? It's a tricycle, so I need like wide berth, wide turns for this bay boy. <laughs> but seriously, oh, this concrete's it's concrete's fully dry, and both of us have our right foot in it. So I'm gonna have to send one of my boys to get it. Yeah, well, I'm looking now. We got a uh, 
We got a uh, cordless hammer drill for one. It's cordless. How many amp yeah. batteries? What are we talking? Eighteen volt or twenty? Because it's gonna take a while, dude. It's up to my friggin' ankles. Uh, eighteen volt. Eighteen volt. What brand is it? Uh, Bosch. Bosch, not a bad brand. The Germans, dude, they build the best tools. Yeah, seriously, because we have a wet saw. We bought that yesterday, but do you guys return tools? Like, can I bring it back? It ain't working. It's too hot. My brother, he's like, my toenails are melting, dude. Yeah, you can bring it back. Yeah, we can bring it back. I, I got the box for it. How much is that hammer drill? Because I literally just tried to call Home Depot, and they're like, yeah, dude, you can't use a hammer drill to get your foot out of concrete. My parents are going to be back tomorrow. We're going to be grounded as hell, and we're 20, so it's like... We have our own concrete business. We're horsing around last night. We both got our feet stuck in the concrete. I got you. Yeah. Has anybody ever had this happen before? It's embarrassing. We've had a concrete business for like nine years. Oh, yeah, all the time, man. We were drinking box of wine last night, and my brother was like, I bet you won't. We pass out by the bonfire. Melted my boots, dude. So I'm watching my boots burn. I wake up, my foot's stuck in the friggin' concrete. We tried to wet saw it out. Too hot for my brother's tootsies. Jeez. Yeah, it's <laughs> melting my skin, bro. So I need a Bosch and possibly a chisel. I'm going to make one of my boys do it by hand. They said it was good for yeah. athlete's foot, and I was like, what do you leave it in for nine hours? We did perks last night. I passed out by the fire. Singed my mustache hairs. Jesus. Jesus is right, brother. Are you Catholic? I'm Christian. Yeah. I, if I'm not at church tomorrow, my grandma's going to whoop my ass. We're going to Denny's afterwards. Grand Slam time, baby. Watch playoff football. Uh, Catholic, uh, I'm on the Catholic through Thursday. Friday through Sunday, I'm uh, Muslim. You're Muslim? Dude, I heard that, dude. I got an autistic cousin that changes religion like every three days. I know. It's good. They say it's good for the soul. So it is good for the soul. So you can eat pork during the week. Exactly. Yeah. You ever been to Hot Pot? It's crazy because it's like you go there and you're like, I'm grilling the meats. Do I work here now? Exactly. Seriously, the melting pot sent me a W-2 because they were like, you're an independent contractor. I'm like, dude, I got my foot stuck in concrete, dude. I need a chisel. Dang, I, bur I, I actually man. burnt pork belly so bad I had to use a Bosch to cut it in half. I had to chisel the fucking burn char off the side of the meat. Yeah, I hate that, man. I, I chipped, I I chipped a molar one time on a pig bone. You got some alcohol with you now? You say I was drinking alcohol? No, yeah, but it was a box of wine, Franzia. So that's that was gone last night. We hey, were off them perk tents. Yeah, like a box of wine. We were wine. slapping the bag. Okay, now if you got some wine, they said mix some mayo with it and yeah. garlic. You bake an aioli. And sprinkle a little bit of sugar in it and stir it up and add a little bit of a Tabasco sauce. They it, said it'll melt through any concrete. <sighs> Damn, I had, dude, I, we did that at my cousin's quinceanera last year. We melted a uh -huh. pig's foot off with that concoction right there. Mate, yeah, falling really off the bone, right. brother. That's I feel like we're in a Mexican standoff that. right now. Yeah, they do those rituals in Uganda, man. I heard they go back to 1600. BC. Yeah, they, they won't let you film them, though. There's no Wi-Fi in Uganda. That's the issue. Every time I go down there, my cell phone drops out. I got one of them marine-grade walkie-talkies. No, Nextel? Nextel, yeah. Chirp, chirp, brother. Oh, yeah. Remember them things? They were the shit. I haven't seen a Nextel in years. Remember the sidekicks? You used to be able to flip the phone open? That's what, I'm on a sidekick now. <laughs> you're, you're going full digital right now. This there is crazy. Go. Hey, how you doing, man? What time do you get off? Tell her I'm talking concrete, so. Uh-huh. But he says they're up on the very, very top. Oh, okay. And, um, it says day 29 on the corner. He's dealing with some of that. It's kind of on the bottom. I'm going to try to recruit him to the Home Depot. Okay, let me go and see. We might have to get somebody with a forklift that can get them down. I can drive a forklift. I'm CDL certified. If you get me, if you get my foot out of this concrete, I'll do that for free. This is crazy.
unbelievable. That was a walk off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know what? I'm done with you. <laughs> I, said, I think I said my name was Bobby Beverage. <laughs> <laughs> Beverage Concrete. That was crazy. You were like workshopping bits yeah, during that like, call. You're like, happened? you ever been to Hot Pot? It's crazy in there. <laughs> <laughs> what do I work for him now? They gave me a W2. <laughs> they gave me a W2 <laughs> <laughs> independent contract. <laughs> you did a seven minute set with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> we just did bumping mics yeah. with some guy in Tuscaloosa or wherever the fuck. <laughs> Oh fuck! That was incredible. That ruled. Nice. <laughs> oh my, my god! Foot stuck in the concrete. <laughs> Me and my brother Daryl were drinking Franzi and doing. Like, perks. I was on perks. <laughs> what do you want? Sitting by my I mean, that's the difference between Lowe's and Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, that guy. I passed out. <laughs> Toes is melting. <laughs> My brother Daryl's complaining about the heat. <laughs> I'm 20. I've had this concrete business for 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> so my, what is, my parents are coming back from vacation. They're going to kill us. He said, I'm 20. I've had this concrete business 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's autistic cat in a hat. <laughs> that guy kept going with me. I'm like, fuck, he's good. <laughs> What did he say? He said something about the mix to melt the concrete. He's like, they they do that in Uganda. <laughs> I was like, I was just there last year. <laughs> I got oh, a walkie-talkie. That guy got it, dude. Oh, my God. Damn. This ruled. What, uh, <laughs> dude, let's do one more. Yeah. Hey, we got time for one we got, more. We got time. I let's got do time. More. I can do one car, more. You got two tickets. <laughs> I can do one more. I'm doing good. How can I help you today? I uh, I found your card on the street. I see you specialize in love uh, in the past. Is that correct? Yes, I do. Nice. I have an aunt that I used to have sex with. Um, oh, my God. She passed away. Re- it was fine. We were both cool with it. She passed away recently, and uh, I have, like, part of her skin still, and I want to get it grafted onto myself so I can communicate with her. Like a tattoo. I don't think, I don't think that that's... Um, something that they can do, but uh, we could do a reading to communicate to her. If I bring the skin in, would you touch it? No. No. What no, should sir. I should I do anything with it then, or just get rid of it? Um, you need a reading for me to tell you anything, dear. Where'd you find my car at? Oh, it was on the street in Philadelphia. It was in a trash can. I found it. Um, wow. But I don't. I don't. Yeah discriminate. I give everybody a chance. I'm an equal right. opportunist, Miss Tina. Really? Correct. So you have a piece of skin that you want to tattoo onto your skin, thinking that you're going to communicate to your dead aunt that you used to have sex with. Yeah. I, I thought, swear yeah. this is... Listen, I'm not judging. I've heard Worcester. But no, I'm sure you have, and that's why I called you. I figured yeah, you were the person to talk to about this. I'm the this. only one to understand Right, and I told my friends that I had sex with my aunt, and they didn't like that at all. Well, listen, it's your aunt. It was a far distance aunt. It happens. Uh, you know. First, first aunt, but first aunt. It happens it, here. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? I've I've heard worse. Thank you. You know, it it was it was it was uh, something that you were both in on, not something that you were just in on. That person was it, you know? Oh, I was all the way in on that. Right, but, but she was also right. Right, correct. Right. It happens sometimes. You could have been, you know, not an aunt and nephew, um, in the past life. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Ah, so you're saying our former bodies used to also have sex, yeah. and we ended up in this realm just as yeah. aunt and yeah. nephew, but still had sex. Yeah. Well, I don't recommend you tattooing anything. I recommend you doing a reading. My readings start at it's not a real. It's not really a tattoo. It's a skin graft. A skin graft? Okay. I don't recommend for you to do that. I do recommend the reading for 100 Do you want to do it? Yes or no? $100 for the reading. Yeah. Mm. I take cash out that board PayPal. Do you take skin trades? No, dear. I don't know about you and the skin. You're really taking the skin really hard. The skin's not going to do anything for you. I got baseball cards. No, I don't do baseball cards. Is this a prank phone call or is this a real phone call? They're Jeter's. Okay, have a good day, sir. Take your Jeter baseball cards and take your skin grass and do what you got to do. Have a good day. Thank you, Miss Tina. He's like, is she smoking? (laughs) (laughs) I'm also like, that's the first guy who's... (laughs) 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 (laughs)
<laughs> That's the I first guy who's called thing. her in nine years. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, listen, I want to scam you out of this money, but I'm not going to fucking skin graft. I don't like, feel lady. good about either of the calls. I, <laughs> I was like, you got to <laughs> <laughs> like, give her Elmer's glue. <laughs> oh, God. Both times I got somebody that was like, yeah, and then what? What, do you want to fucking bring the DUI truck in? Bring the skin? Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Oh, uh, shit. You gotta fucking take a, take a page out of his book and just start rapping. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, you mind if I freestyle for a bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that fucking holding beep got, it, got me feeling it, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I got tap dancing shoes on right now. <laughs> That's great. Hello? Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm good. Hey, I, I got your number from the uh, from the Stouffer's database. I saw you, uh, you recently purchased uh, frozen Stouffer's lasagna. Um, I'm I'm a ex employee. I, I'm just calling people to let you know I, I got terminated recently. I'm letting everybody know I have reason to believe that Stouffer's lasagna contains 98 percent horse meat. And I thought you should know since you just purchased a lasagna recently. I didn't. I haven't purchased any lasagna lately. You don't have to be coy about it. It's fine. Um, I do have reason to believe. I don't. I haven't seen it, but I was in the factory, and uh, behind two doors, I could hear the scraping of hooves. Uh huh. And so I thought you should be one of the first to know, as as someone that. Yeah. What's your name? This is Jim. Yeah. I... I love the gym got him. <laughs> He's like, nah, this is bullshit. <laughs> Be like, they were putting the meat in the grinder, and I know cow teeth when I see them. These are horse teeth. I'm a machinist for Stouffer's, the meat grinding plant. <laughs> Just like, I didn't get a Stouffer's lasagna. It's like, don't even start with me. Oh, yeah. I've seen all the oh, receipts. Okay, I've sure seen. you have it. And I've never been to New York City. <laughs> Your <laughs> number one Jesus. customer, dude. Wait, that's what he said. I couldn't hear it. That's what he said. He's like, I've never got a Stouffer's lasagna. Oh, like, all right, stop fucking around. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Great, how are you? Doing wonderful. I got your number from Mike Beveridge. I thought I'd give you a call. I know you, uh, you're you the kind of the expert with uh, music and instruments. Um, I'm, uh, I'm hoping you can help me out. I'm looking for like a, uh, looking for a trombone that I can blast to keep possums out of my garbage cans. Sorry, you got the wrong number. No. Mm. <laughs> you should have went with the double guitars. <laughs> I need more raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> we should have went horse horse funeral, dude. <laughs> Y'all got a band that could do Leonard Skinner covers <laughs> about horses funeral. <laughs> oh yeah. my god! God damn. Yeah, um, some some good calls. Some, <laughs> we had some good ones today. Yeah. I think we got a couple hitters in there. Yeah, <laughs> I think we did good work today. I think. I felt. Do you feel like I feel accomplished too? as hell? <laughs> you I got feel like a, four new friendships. Yeah. Uh, both of us. I mean, I'm literally about to move to Alabama to hang out with that one guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Ghana next summer. <laughs> We're trying to put up cell phone towers in Ghana. Can't wait for Ryan to quit his job and work at Men's Warehouse. <laughs> You're gonna like the way you look. <laughs> You're gonna like the way I fuck. Guy who works <laughs> at the Men's Warehouse. <laughs> We're gonna cut the sleeves off this thing. Get down to business. <laughs> Oh my god uh, Ryan Foster Thanks for doing the show Dude any fucking time That was uh, so fun Foster care Yeah mm-hmm. The hottest pot in town Yeah No right, phone no calls Kind of gay uh, <laughs> No <but laughs> The gayest I got an Italian producer Who's <laughs> borderline autistic <laughs> Yeah If you want to hear a guy Ramble to himself in a garage <laughs> And try not to say slurs For an hour Tune in to foster care <laughs> This is fun as shit though That's Thanks cool. for having me Yeah appreciate you doing it anything, yeah. anything you want to Get off your chest the Italians were responsible for 9 11. I've, tell- <laughs> I've been telling everybody about that, but well, nobody's listening. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Dr- Drew. Oh, it was fun. Just uh, thanks for tuning in. Hell all, yeah. the, all the support is nice. People on Reddit, be nicer. Y'all are fucking yeah. so yeah. corny. Reddit, get it together. <laughs> TikTok, dude. you rule, dude. Yeah, take the fucking, <laughs> fucking hang. Chinese malware, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Appreciate it. See y'all later. Hell yeah. Inshallah.